Y'all, there's something weird unfolding in our solar system right now. We've given it a name, 3i Atlas, but that doesn't mean that we know what it is or what it's doing. 3i Atlas is strange. It looks strange, it moves strange, its composition is strange. And for all the time we've been watching this interstellar visitor, there's a new clue showing it might have been watching us for even longer. Let's start with the visuals. Astrophotographers stationed in the remote Namibian desert, one of the darkest skies on Earth, timed their cameras to a lunar eclipse to darken out any moon glow. They pointed their lenses out into space, and what they found when they honed in on 3 i Atlas was jaw-dropping. The object glowed bright green. Now you may be thinking, okay, chaos, <laughs> but hear me out. Green? Uh, based on what we think 3i Atlas is, an interstellar comet, keep that in mind, that green glow doesn't match the expected chemical behavior. Comets can go green due to a diatomic carbon, C2, getting hit by solar UV light. But the thing is, 3i Atlas appears to lack C2. So why is it green? So here's what we know so far, and the sources are in the description below. Astronomers found that its coma, the fuzzy cloud around the nucleus, is dominated by carbon dioxide, CO2, far more than water, H2O, things we have here on Earth. <laughs> That's backwards compared to most comets. Also, it's showing signs of heavy metal, for example, nickel, in odd places, which raises eyebrows. And as of recent studies, it's releasing water via OH emissions in UV, much farther from the sun than typical comets do. It's like a fire hydrant of water out in the cold. So it's like these jets of water coming out and then of course they're probably freezing as they come out because space. There's also the polarimetric signature. How light polarizes off of its dust and coma is unique. 3 Atlas has an extreme negative polarization branch unlike anything we've ever seen on comets or asteroids ever before. So in short, a green glow with no expected C2. Unusual CO2 H2O ratio. Metal signatures. Odd dust light behavior. These are red flags if this is just another comet. Now, let's talk about motion. If this were a garden variety comet, we'd expect some instability in its speed or direction. Why? Well, because comets heat up as they approach the sun. They sublimate gas, they release jets of dust and gas, and that acts like little thrusters, what scientists call non-gravitational acceleration, NGA. But 3i Atlas, it's holding a remarkably steady course. Minimal direction change, minimal speed change, in relative terms, it's behaving like it's guided. Uh, now, I'm not saying it is, <laughs> but it looks like it could be. So what's the bigger picture? Okay, here's the deal. 3 a Atlas is confirmed interstellar, meaning it did not form around our sun. It's only the third such object I ever identified that way. That's why it's 3 eyes, third interstellar object. It was discovered by the Atlas survey in Chile, so it's 3 i Atlas. This comes after 1i, first interstellar Oumuamua in 2017, and 2i Borisov in 2019. So that's what the name means. It's nothing like ridiculous. It's the third interstellar object discovered by Atlas Survey. It was first spotted on July 1st, 2025 by the Atlas Survey in Chile. Based on spectral clues, it may have formed in a very different environment. Low metal, high CO2, maybe early galactic history. It will make or it made, its closest approach to the sun around late October 2025, and it won't come anywhere near Earth. It's actually passing through the solar system pretty silently. You may be thinking, okay, so it might still be a comet? Um, it might just be a weird comet? Like, what, what, <laughs> what's going on here, right? So why are you covering this when you're usually covering UFOs? So, Here's where we lean into the weird a little bit. What if 3 Atlas isn't just a comet? What if it's a piece of alien technology or a probe of sorts 
or some kind of relic craft embedded in ice and rock designed for observation rather than travel. Let's consider the steady trajectory. It's too stable for a typical comet undergoing strong sublimation jets. The out of place chemistry, high CO2, metal release, odd composition hints, hmm. The green glow with no C2. Something else is causing the color. Like, why is it green? The origin from outside our solar system. An outsider with possibly advanced purposes. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't share with you Professor Avi Loeb's wild new theory about Thray Atlas. And this theory may just hold some weight and change everything we know about life in the universe. Have you ever heard of the WOW signal? Discovered in 1977 by astronomers at Ohio State University using the Big Ear Radio Telescope. Well, the WOW signal is a powerful narrowband radio signal that lasted 72 seconds, and it originated from a strange point in deep outer space. Discovered by the astronomers, when they first saw this data, all they could do was write on the paper, WOW, hence the name, the WOW signal. One thing we know for sure, as I mentioned, it came from deep space. So it didn't come from any of our technology, and it didn't come from the sun or any planet in our solar system. We pinpointed into deep space, and it's very, very strange to get a pulsed signal from nowhere. What's stranger still, as Avi Loeb proposes, is that 3i Atlas originates from the same point in deep space as the WOW signal, theorizing that it could have been 3i Atlas itself that sent that radial pulse from deep space. Now that sounds pretty technological to me. Now I'm not sitting here saying, it is aliens, it's another ship UFO and it's on the way. <laughs> I I'm not, right? It could be just a comet. It could just be a weird freaking comet. What I'm saying is keep an open mind because sometimes the weirdest data points turn into the biggest discoveries. And here's the thing. Even if it is just a weird comet, this could change what we know about interstellar comets, interstellar asteroids, how the universe works, our galactic history. So even if it is just weird and not alien, there's so much information that we can gain from this that it's important that we do some research. Now, obviously, stay tuned and subscribe because if anything crazy happens, I'll definitely update you. <laughs> so here we stand. A strange traveler from beyond our solar system, suddenly passing through our cosmic backyard. 3 i Atlas might be a comet. It might be something else. Either way, it demands our attention because the truth about our place in the universe might be hiding in its tail. Keep your eyes in the skies, folks, because while we're watching the universe, it's quite possible something is watching back.